How about we call it Antiosaurus? <sighs> Ignore him, Agnes. Can I touch it? Why not? I have. Antiosaurus is a great name for a dinosaur, eh? Huh? Strong, powerful. Agnes, you're the one who found a whole new dinosaur species. You deserve to call it whatever you want. I can't help thinking you have a suggestion. Mm, Willosaurus has a certain ring. Uh, bats? No one mentioned bats. Relax. Bats only attack the smallest person. Oh, wait. That would be you. Hmm. Huh? Oh! Whoa! 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 Dad! Ant, stop right there. Come back from the edge. It could collapse again. Uh, but the... Come back from the edge. Now, Ant. <laughs> Dad! My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. Huh? What are we gonna do? Come on, Will. I think I see something. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> I should have warned you when you arrived. Unstable ground. <sighs> the stream ends at this sinkhole, and the sinkhole keeps getting bigger. At really inconvenient times. So, the water flows down through a cave system and emerges somewhere out there near the Aranax. I'm hoping the rest of the fossils are down in the caves. With your underwater exploration experience and all your cool gear, I thought, perfect. All well, except we're very good. Maybe not perfect. My brother has modesty issues. But now I'm not so sure. It might be too dangerous. One way to find out. <laughs> By playing golf? These are pingers. They're 3D sonar mappers. They'll float through the caves on the current, map them, emerge into the sea, and return to the Aranax. See? Told ya. You've got cool gear. Perfect. Plenty of room to get around in the first two caves. But see here where it vents into the sea? That's a very small opening. It's even too small for a night. Okay, we'll swim in from the top. Look, right there. Are those fossils? Maybe just debris, but we'll find out for sure when we dive. Yeah, the last pinger, Jeffrey, and back where it belongs in my brand new totally amphibious night. I call it the Swamp Night. Huh? Your lack of enthusiasm is noted. All right, you're hungry. Have you ever known me not to carry fish food? And here, a new high-tech super neoprene utility wetsuit. <laughs> Look, it's not that I don't appreciate it, but I kind of like my- You've outgrown that one, and confidentially, <laughs> it smells. Change. Mom, please! I'm not a child. I'm almost legally considered an adult in Zanjakistan. You made up that country, didn't you? I... <sighs> Changing right now. Uh, new suit. Itchy. Uh. Get used to it. The old one's in the recycling bin. Aww. What's the light source? Not sure. Let's check it out. Wow! Thousands of glowworms. Now there's something you don't see every day. The glow is their way of saying to predators, don't eat me, I'm poisonous. No predators here! Not even Fontaine! Hmm. They're reacting to that bat sonar sound. But... Bats can't get down here, can they? 
Behind you. I am not falling for the same thing twice. Well, not after all those other times. Ant, turn around. Whoa. Agnes is going to love this. So based on these bones, this species would have been 12 meters long? At least! Excellent! I look forward to dating it on our mass spectrometer. It's on its way, Professor. Fantastic! Done. I'll wait on board for his reply. I'll head back to shore to collect the rest of the fossils. Yeah! Arrived at the dig site. We shouldn't be too long. Over and out. Okay, let's gather some more bones. Is that your old suit? Shh, it's not an old suit. It's an old friend. It just feels right. We got history together. Ugh, it smells like fish food. No need to insult it. My old friend and I are gonna see if any bones have washed into the next cave. Keiko? <laughs> oh, you really had me going there. What are you talking about? I was actually excited, and then I ran the test. Hilarious! Those fossils, they're not old at all. What do you mean they're not old? Igneous rock down here? Uh, basalt? Agnes, your fossils aren't ancient. 50 years maximum. How disappointing. The high mineral content in the water must have prematurely petrified the bones. Huh? <laughs> hmm, that's not basalt. Agnes, if these fossils aren't ancient, then those things could still be alive. But it's way too big to be an... Uh, huh. Huh? Ah! Aranax to Nectins. Aranax to any Nectin. Come in. Come on. Ah! Okay, I'll just be very still. And you can just stay. Ah! Sorry, that's a little bright for you, isn't it? Oh. Ah! Close enough. Ah! 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 Come on! Okay, now part of growing up is learning what's food and what's not food. And I am not food, okay? Wait, you? You think I'm your mother. We won't tell Jeffrey. Welcome to the Swamp Night, your new, totally amphibious night. Unlike other nights, the Swamp Night can walk on land. It's perfect for boggy marshes, cave exploring. That's exactly why I'm choosing it. I don't need explanations, artificial ant. But I will be asking the real you to explain this. Wow, this place is truly amazing. You realize no one, and I mean no one, has ever seen this. Other explorers? Nope. Cavemen? <laughs> Doubtful. Uh, now I'm going this way and you should go... Wait a minute, is that why you're following me? You can smell fish food? Uh, hang on, I always have some, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Ah, here. 
<laughs> it's not much, but it's high in amino acids and vitamins. Whoa! Healthy appetite. Sorry, little guy. I'm out. <laughs> Whoa! The Swamp Knight has extra thick armor, extra storage compartments, and extra strength. Extra strength is just what I'll need. Ant! This thing is too powerful. It's complete overkill. Of course, this extra strength should be taken into account in everyday operation. Oh! We wouldn't want any accidents. Oh! We're going the wrong way! There you are. Uh -huh. What? I've got news. And? He's a baby. I've got no idea why he's following me. Except maybe, possibly, because I fed him. And that's a very big baby. Which means those aren't fossils. Let's not make any sudden moves. Huh? It's okay, little guy. Friends. I guess I just naturally attract, <laughs> like a magnet. Hey! I told you, that's not food! It just smells like it. And if that's a baby, it's got a very big mother somewhere. This is not a safe environment. Right. I can return it. You'll note that the thrusters are more powerful than any previous night. What? Oh, come on, artificial ant. Go down, down! And it may take some getting used to, but the steering is now controlled by head movement alone. Oh. Move your head left to turn left. Right to turn right. Oh, that's infuriating! Whoa. Whoa. And up and down. So simple, a child could do it. Oh, is that so? Oh, wait till I get my hands on you. It's okay. I'm just bringing you back home. Remember this? I don't have any more food. I wish I did. Come on, Snappy. Let go. It's my favorite wetsuit. And behind you. Is it Bats? I wish it was. Back away slowly. No, Snappy. You stay here. We have to leave now. Snappy, forget about me. Look, brothers and sisters. Go, play with them. What was that? It's the mother. Dad! Move, over there! Where is it? Food. I need my mask. We don't have any choice. Let's go now. <laughs> you think we lost it? Apparently not. The caves must be connected. There. <laughs> Do that! I'm busy being terrified here! Go home, Snappy! Your mother is calling you. You should listen to your mother. I always do. Huh. Okay, not always. This thing is the perfect predator. Unchanged for a million years. Not perfect. It's been locked up in the dark. So what? Its sense of smell is probably overcompensated. And you smell like fish food! Stay close to me. Are you okay? 
Uh, my wetsuit is snagged on something! Take my hand. I hate to say it, but my suit might have to stay behind. Necton family, this is Keiko. Respond, please. This suit really is strong. <laughs> nice undies. Thanks. Are those little Jeffreys? I'm not even going to answer that. Yes, they are. And where's your mask? Oh, no. Okay, two of us will share. Out of this cave, straight to the surface. Um, mine's gone too. We can't all make it on one. This way! Follow me! Keiko, can you hear me? Respond, over. Will? Copy. The fossils aren't from an extinct species. They're alive in here. I know! You're all okay? Uh, for the moment. But something big is stalking us. Okay, listen. If these things grow as big as Agnes suggests, there's no way they can get out to the sea. They live their lives in perpetual gloom. Of course! They're sensitive to light. The flashlight should keep them at bay. Mine's gone. Do I look like I'm carrying one? We don't have that option. Understood. Maybe you can stimulate the glowworms into defending themselves, remember? Right. <sighs> but the noise will attract the mother, too. It's the best idea we've had so far. It's no good. They're not afraid of us. We need bats. No one needs bats. <laughs> now it's hurt Snappy. Will, are you still there? Oh, please be there. Can't reach you. Dangerous. Stay away. Will, you're breaking up. Will. That noise isn't enough to activate the glowworms. So keep something between that thing and us. Where'd it go? Oh no! Your mom's here. Go to her. Ask her about her day. Hey! Over here! Talking to you! Kiko, run! No! Look at me! One mother to another. Understand this. No one messes with my family. That's it! Mom! Activate the pingers! The high frequency should trigger the glowworms! <laughs> Come on! This must be blinding! Ah! No! Dad, it's okay! Extra armor! And this suit is incredible! And don't forget... Extra strength! Ah! Oh. Oh. Mom! Look out! It's okay, Dad. I got this. You just want your baby, don't you? without thinking it through. <laughs> Bye, Snappy. Aunt, you're blue! <laughs> it's cold down there. Where's your wetsuit? <laughs> uh, I made an error in judgment. <laughs> I was wearing my 
old suit. Uh-huh. It got me into trouble. I'm sorry. I finally let it go. Good. Very mature. Put this on. Ha! I can see months of paperwork ahead documenting this. It's fantastic! Discovering a living dinosaur is way better than a dead one. <laughs> How did Aunt find that baby croc? I think it found him. Ant does have this way of attracting things. Thank you, Senator. You won't regret this. So, the local government will set up a rainforest sanctuary? They will. They don't want cave explorers getting eaten any more than we do. The forest and the caves will be out of bounds. Good. Scary creatures deserve protection, too. Even bats. Right, Ant? Ant? Eyes as big as basketballs, teeth like like long razor sharp swords. I'm painting a verbal picture here, Jeffrey. Try to look interested. <laughs> He's a fish. And best of all, it's called Antiosaurus. No, it's not. Agnes will come around. It's a poetic name. Strong, powerful. So, have you told Jeffrey you've got a new pet? closer to giant animals. Fine. <laughs> Deploying tracking device. Hey, what are those marks on the whale? Okay, now you gotta get me closer. No way, Ant. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Too close! for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into men. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. Rover, come in, Rover. This is Aranax. You guys okay? And? Bate? I'm okay. I fell on something soft when we crashed. That would be my face. We're nearly in position to retrieve you. Sit tight. Oh, stupid light. I hope the rover's not badly damaged. Replacing the drone's gonna put a big enough hole in your pocket money, Fontaine. The rover's in one piece. More or less. My Ugh. pocket money? What about Ant? Uh, you were driving. The only reason we were even out here is because of your dumb plan. Dumb? What's wrong with finding a colossal squid by tracking the animal that eats them? It's the perfect plan. How many perfect plans have you had to find a colossal squid? And how many colossal squids have we actually found? Oh wait, none. Face it, you're obsessed. I'm not obsessed. I'm just never giving up. <sighs> Oh. Okay, Will. We're above the rover. Deploying retrieval clock. Did I tell you? Many times. What was it gonna say? 
Did I tell you if we find a deep sea colossal squid, it'll be the first time anyone's ever seen one alive? A ginormous moment for Aunt Necton, science, and the universe! Wrong! I don't even sound like that. I was gonna say I saw sucker marks on that whale. It must have been fighting a colossal squid. Uh, look, there! Ready to grab the rover. Hold on, this could get bumpy. Huh, that wasn't so bad. I haven't started yet. What? Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Fontaine. Does my face look like a cushion to you? The kids are in bed, but Ant isn't sleeping. He's probably too excited about chasing squid tomorrow. Can you pass me the torque wrench? I need a torque wrench. This is an impact driver. You should go get some sleep. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. I'll be done here soon. And then I'll be straight up after I've replaced that faulty light bulb on the bridge. It's just bugging me. Professor Fiction was pretty insistent that we don't touch anything electrical on the Aranex until he's completed a thorough analysis. I think I can handle a light bulb. Will, this isn't your field. You know how I know? Because you just handed me a can opener. <laughs> I must be really tired. Um, I'm not doubting that you can change the bulb. Just promise me you won't, okay? I'll think about it. See, Will, nothing went wrong. Oh, come out! You went in easily enough. I just had a nightmare about the sun exploding. You messed with that light bulb after promising not to? I didn't. You didn't touch it. No, I didn't promise not to. Uh, Jeffrey's tank aerator just went into overdrive. I think he's had too much oxygen. <gasps> you didn't touch anything electrical, did you? Don't worry. As soon as I find the right tool, I'll undo the... Aranax, this is base. Oh, <laughs> Professor Fiction. Keiko, I've got a readout <clears throat> somewhere indicating the Aranax experienced an anomalous surge. You didn't touch anything electrical, did you? Well, I, no. I, okay, yes. But I only changed a tiny, really tiny light bulb. And now every single light in the entire sub has the brightness of a thousand suns. I'm changing it back. Don't touch it! The circuitry's too unstable. Any power surge, however small, might have unpredictable consequences. Oh, come on. It's just a light bulb. Should we be heading back to base? Oh, there you are. Uh, hmm, according to this, you should be fine. Just don't put the electrics under any more stress. Don't worry, we won't touch a thing. Will we, Keiko? It's the collision alarm. Something's coming at us. Sorry, Professor, gotta go. It's the whale I'm tracking. It's swimming in wild zigzags. There are other objects. Must be the rest of the pod. It's too bright in here. I can't see anything out the window. They're coming straight at us. Activate the shield. No way. Hold on. The outside camera. Gotta rewind that footage. Everyone all right? Uh, sorry, Fontaine. It was an accident. Don't worry. I'll live. Any damage to the sub? Running diagnostics now. Whoa! Are those tentacles around the whale? There were sucker marks on the whale before. A uh, colossal squid was fighting the whale, trying to escape being eaten. It would explain why the whale crashed into us, and why Mom fell on my face. <laughs> <sighs> no sign of the whale. That was a huge impact. Hope it's okay. It looks like the whale is still swimming. <gasps> Listen. <sighs> 
I never get tired of that sound. It can't be badly hurt. It's probably still fighting the colossal squid. Oh, please don't make me wait till morning to follow it. This might be our best chance to observe a colossal squid. Keiko? Impact took out the outside cameras, and we've lost comms to the surface. But nothing bad enough to stop us from making history. Yes! Besides, it's way too bright in here to sleep. So, if the whale sings when it hunts, wouldn't that scare off its prey? You'd think so. Jeffrey's scared every time he hears me sing. <laughs> I don't blame him. I'm scared every time I hear you sing, too. Could be how the whales hunt. The squid flees the singing right to where the rest of the pod's waiting. Boom! Ambush! Something's ahead. Big, and it's not moving. It's not the whale. Can we get the floodlights up? It might cause another electrical surge. We need to know what's out there, Keiko. You're right, but only minimum power. And we just lost power to the fridge. Something else for fiction to fix. See anything, Ant? Oh, yeah. Wow. That's bigger than anything that's ever washed up on a beach. Stop. You are not going anywhere. But my whole mission's been to get video of one of these animals in the wild. You let us go out there with a huge sperm whale. And look how that turned out. It's not moving at all. I don't think it's alive. Ant can drive the rover. I'll record. <gasps> You'll come? I'm not gonna miss out. And if you drive, it'll be your pocket money if something does go wrong. We haven't said yes yet. <clears throat> Mom, Dad, going back many generations, the Necton family has always passed on. I cannot believe Mom and Dad bought your cheesy, you raised me to be a Necton speech. <sighs> what can I tell you? It's a gift. We can still hear you, you know. <laughs> You're out there because we agreed that a dead thing probably won't hurt you. Also, that cheesy speech was pretty good. Wow. Incredible. I wonder what happened to it. Possibly the fight with a whale? Did that tentacle just move? Eh. Probably just the current. I don't think it's the current. Look, there! I don't see anything. Play it again. It's alive! Ah! Ed, Fontaine, get back to the Aranax, now! Cause the air scrubbers to fail. Kids, get back ASAP. We need to surface if we want to keep breathing air. Ah! Ah! Did you see that? My friend has friends. If they were waiting for us in the dark, you know what this means? Um, surprise party? They're intelligent. They, they work together. That one must have been playing dead to catch us. Wow. I'm not so impressed by being hunted. But we know they hate light. Get us into the light before... Uh, it's got us! Hold on! It's blocking our light! 
Wait! Is it doing that on purpose? More squid are coming! Hey! Accelerate when I say! Everyone okay? Ooh. I swear she put her face right in the way. If I need plastic surgery, you're paying. Sorry, Fontaine, but Ant will have no money ever. He'll be paying off the rover for the rest of his life. Oh. We'll head for the surface. We've still got hours of good air. We'll be fine. No, never say that. <laughs> Well, that solved the bright lighting problem. Maybe the squid won't attack. Mom! Without the engines, we can't get to the surface. We're too deep to dump the ballast? An emergency ascent from this depth would blow the Aranax wide open. We have to climb slowly so we can equalize the pressure inside with the massive easing of pressure outside. How long will our air last? If the oxygen mix drops below this mark, we won't have enough breathable air to get us to the surface, even with the engines. Got any bright ideas? Electrical problems must have blown the engine fuel servos. I've got to find a way to fix them. Need a flashlight? It's okay. I know this boat like the back of my hand. Oh! Yeah, flashlight would be good. Well, we're not using up air too quickly. At least something electrical's working on this boat. Yes. <laughs> Trying the engines now. Come on, come on. Yes. Yes. All right, you, you did, did it. it. Nice work, Keiko. Way to go, Mom. Thermostat shorted out. We can only run at minimum power or they'll seize. We've stopped climbing. At minimum power, the squid are gonna drag us down. Keiko, we have to get the engines back up. Working on it. We should be fine so long as nothing else goes wrong. I really think we should ban sentences like that on this submarine. Every time we... We have a fire! There it is. Fire will eat up the last of our air. Keiko, I'm coming. Both of you head to the moon pool room. If this gets any worse, I want you ready to abandon ship. How? We can't go outside with those squid. We wouldn't last two seconds. We'll find a way to draw them away. Get to the moon pool now. <sighs> Is it? I left something on the bridge. What did you leave behind? An idea. Come on, come on. Yes, there. The whale you were tracking? Can you get us close to it before we're dragged down? We can only move it a crawl. If we can get close, the whale song could scare the squid away. Okay, let's do this. Just a bit closer. No! Oh, we lost all of our detection systems. Sonar, tracking, we're blind! Hey, Fontaine, 
Why have we changed direction? Why aren't you in the move pool room? Dad? Uh, we... We were just trying to... We're almost out of air! Whatever you were trying, it hasn't worked. We're out of time. Please, kids! Get ready to abandon the sub! but the engine's still dead. Oh, we haven't got enough oxygen to get to the surface anyway. I wonder... Here, use this. A can opener? Footage, but worth being almost dragged to our doom? Totally! We captured footage of creatures never seen before. And nothing too bad happened. I mean, it's not like there's any permanent damage. Call something a monster, it becomes a monster. You're right. It's some sort of awesome creature! Incredible. I've never seen anything like it. And it's already all over the internet. Look, it's famous! And since I discovered it, I'm calling it... Wait for it... Antzilla! You mean everyone on the internet can see this? Totally! I set up all our underwater location cameras to live stream. And maybe next year, in 3D! And what's the prime directive of our mission? To protect all life in the sea. You don't think maybe you violated it? Uh, your video has had 1.2 million hits so far. And that's not even the worst part. There are two types of people. The hunter and the hunted. Now, thanks to a post from Ant Necton, We've been warned of a huge, ravenous monster threatening our shores. It's time for you to choose a side. I've made my choice. My name is Devil Daniels, and I hunt monsters. Uh-oh. My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into men. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. Name me any 
any savage beast from any of the seven seas. And chances are, I've looked it in the eye. Sea serpent. Is this guy for real? I have no idea. You haven't seen his tacky shows? Devil Daniels versus Jaws. Devil Daniels, headbutts a barracuda. Devil Daniels, fairy penguins. Fluffy, cute, deadly. What? I have a broad general knowledge. Is that bad? Thanks to celebrity blogger Ant Nectar, I tracked this beast, but it proved a formidable adversary. Its razor sharp claws almost took my favorite leg. Instead, the monster took a chunk of my boat. But it won't happen again. In the next 48 hours, I will catch it. Maybe he's gonna take it to a conservation park? And mount it in my trophy room. Aww. Not if we get there first. sign of the creature. No sign of the creature hunter either. There's definitely nothing here. <laughs> the monster footage has four million hits. But look at the bright side. There's a bright side? If Devil Daniels had captured that creature, it would be all over the net by now. True. So we can still save it. No pressure. <sighs> we covered around 10 square nautical miles and no sign of the creature. Maybe Devil Daniels won't find it either? Don't count on it. Dad, it's been three hours. Are you still mad at me? When I say mad, I'm assuming more disappointed? Mad is accurate. Okay. Every day, more unusual and prehistoric creatures are appearing in our oceans. Why is that? I don't know. But we can't afford to have them exposed to the world until people are ready. <sighs> I'm really sorry, Dad. <sighs> I know. This big guy's a real mystery, Jeffrey. You like him, huh? That's good enough for me. As your best friend, I believe you're an excellent judge of character. Uh, uh, the monster came and destroyed everything. It was huge, like a, like a huge thing, but much huger. It must be pulled into tiny little pieces. What we want to know is, who's looking out for us? Ah, simple, humble fisher folk. Did he call us simple? The latest victims of a cruel and vicious attack by an untamed monster from the deep. Oh no. These people need a champion, a hero. I believe one man can make a difference, and I humbly offer myself as that hero. I doubt this guy has ever done anything humbly. That doesn't seem to matter to people. He's got over six million subscribers. We can't help it if people believe everything they see on the internet. Huh, I don't. You joined a forum discussing invisible time travelers. They exist. They're the ones who hide my socks and then put them back where I just looked. Hmm. Watch. Do you see your monster? Not really. Exactly. Shaky cameras, cheesy dramatic music, strange edits that cut away before we see any of the creature. Daniels just uses these things to sell more Devil Daniels t-shirts, caps, and action figures. He has action figures? Why don't we have action figures? And focus. I'm thinking if he can use viral videos to scare people. Why can't we? Okay, going live in three, two, one, action. Hi, we're the Nectins, coming to you live from the Aranax with an important message. Um, uh, some of you may have seen footage of an unidentified creature. Perhaps called Antzilla. It's not called Antzilla! I streamed the footage by mistake, and now some people want to hurt this innocent creature. 
Keiko? Uh, we just want to say that hunting is not the answer. All sea creatures deserve protection. What? Did I mess up the last line? Do you want us to do another take? Dad, this is live. Oh, oh. It's too easy to expect the worst. Most ocean creatures are more afraid of us than we are of... Whatever you can! Okay, let me get us stable again. Don't look so happy, Jeffrey. I'm gonna have to talk to you about Stranger Danger. Ed! Activate the shields! No, wait! live to air video ever that's the obvious one oh, set the sonar to warn us before an imminent collision good we need more handles when we tip we need more things to hold on to there are dents and scrapes but the hull looks out ah small crack You know, maybe we've also learned that this creature is erratic and unpredictable. It's dangerous. It's not dangerous. It did attack us, Anne. Unprovoked. Just because the creature hit us doesn't mean it was attacking us. We're supposed to protect all creatures. People are creatures too, Anne. This creature is acting very odd. See? Jeffrey agrees with me. He likes the creature. I'm sure the creature would like Jeffrey too. A nice, light snack. It wasn't attacking us. It was trying to tell me something. Have you seen my extra, extra large contact lens? I think it's... afraid. Uh, that sneaky monster hunter! I don't see talons anywhere. Or even arms. Hmm. Me neither. There are no scratch marks on the Aranax. And he said it had claws. Where? I told you he was up to something. What's that? There's something shiny near the... I need you back inside. The creature's been sighted again. The sea monster has just been spotted returning to tiny, defenseless Tweed Island. And I am in transit. <laughs> Save us, Devil Daniels! It's coming! Monster Hunter! Monster Hunter! He has action figures? Why don't we have action figures? Will focus. People of Tweed Island, the day of reckoning has arrived. I offer nothing but my toil, sweat, tears, and a promise. Oh, here we go. Cue the dramatic music. I shall fight it on the beaches. I shall fight it on the seas and oceans. I shall defend your island and never surrender. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> Question here from Monster Hater 886, who asks, hunting, is it more preparation or luck? <laughs> Excellent question. I would say it's all about good preparation. Which is, of course, 
Another way of saying, I make my own luck. Aha! Oh, she blows! Oh no! We're not gonna make it! Almost too easy. Come on, come on! Say goodbye, monster! Brilliant. A plot twist! No! How dare you! I'll head him off. Daniels, we need to talk. Did he just run and hide? <laughs> Some champion. Excuse me, Mr. Daniels. No, no, don't say excuse me. Sorry? Stop apologizing. Just take charge. Get out my door. Oh, must I do everything myself? Huh, I guess it's true. The camera really does add 10 pounds. Just look at you Nectons! Beautiful, ideal adversaries! We have the bookish giant. Excuse me? The fiery conservationist. Fiery? The skeptical teen. I don't know about that. And finally, the excitable, impulsive, non-stop child. Thanks! I have a fast metabolism! Oh, you guys are perfect casting for the villains of my story. Villains? But... Not quite villainous enough for modern audiences. So, how about we reshoot your entrance, huh? Mr. Daniels, we need Be to Be more talk. aggressive for the camera. Hey, hey, if kicking the door down doesn't work for you, we can workshop something else? If you just stop talking for a second, I can... Oh, light bulb moment! You drive a jet ski through the window! We are not going to be part of your ridiculous video. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Work that anger. Call off your hunt now. Uh, let me think for a second. Uh, no. I am the most downloaded sea adventurer on the planet. I can't let down my fans. And sometimes I care too much. A true sea adventurer is a guardian of the deep, not a hunter. Guardian of the deep? Oh, that's great. Very marketable. You, uh, you own that catchphrase? So, either the monster has these things for hands, which would be totally cool, or I'd say you were lying about how dangerous this creature is. Okay, so I exaggerate a tad. The damage to those fishing boats? Old footage. Great editing, though. And the fishermen? Paid extras. Paid way too much for those lackluster performances. So, you shoot, edit, and broadcast everything by yourself. <sighs> Ambitious little monster hunter, aren't you? Okay, <sighs> let's see what else isn't real. Listen, I give people what they want. Danger and drama. Kill the monster! Come on, big guy. We're not the enemy. It's okay. We'll help you. Farewell, my valiant foes. <sighs> <gasps> Blast! He's taking the rover! Not if I can help it! No! He's coming for you! Oh, come on! Come on! <laughs> I love this machine! Net launcher versus monster! And we'll be right back for the thrilling climax! And now, it's my net launcher against your colossal bulk! Time for the final act, you magnificent, but sadly doomed beast! What is that thing? I can't let this happen! I've got a plan, but you'll really hate it! 
That's normal. Huh? We're going nowhere. The intake valve is flooded. Hold on tight. Hit it! Hang on! Uh, uh, uh. Ed, it's too dangerous! How else can I get to him on time? It's a foolproof plan! Thinking there could be holes in the plan. Personal opinion. Have you got the slightest idea what you're doing? Technically, no. Here, you're the pilot. Dad, let me show you something. Ah! <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> Note to self, swimming, good. Flying, bad. <sighs> What's that? More video from a few days ago. He kept this quiet. I knew that shiny thing wasn't natural. Daniels attacked the creature, not the other way around. Ant was right. The creature was never dangerous. Daniels just makes it dangerous. What? Please repeat. I said it wasn't dangerous. No, the first sentence. Uh, Ant was right. <laughs> Please repeat. Ant, listen up. Daniels is electroshocking the creature. What? How? A device in its skin, activated by his bracelet. Ant, can you hear me? Can't talk. Have to take a deep breath. What? Why? I'm coming, big guy! It's a giant seahorse. Innocent boy in a world of trouble. His only hope, Devil Daniel, guardian of the deep. Oh, no, you don't. Surely it's only a matter of time before the beast prevails. The boy's eyes bleed. Save me, devil. But now, at last, the end game. I would, but I'd sure have to think about it. See? That's why we need action figures. Incredible! It, it saved him after he tried to make a trophy out of it! I love that monster! As I've always said, this magnificent giant seahorse must be protected. So, vote to save on my online petition. This is Devil Daniels, guardian of the deep. He stole my catchphrase. Oh well, at least that's all he got. Are we there yet? Not for a few more hours. It's a long way to the most remote spot I know. You think he'll be happy way out there? Will there be any cameras around? No way. You'll be happy. You'll see when we get there. Or maybe I could keep him? Forget it. Why do we always get stuck with seaweed clearing duty? Between the three of us, it'll be done pretty quickly. Three of us? Jeffrey's helping. Good work, Jeffrey. What? What's that? Probably nothing. No, what's that? Probably something. Mom, there's something headed towards us. There's nothing on sonar. Yeah, well that nothing is getting closer. Still nothing on any instruments. It's headed straight for the Aranax. Mom, you gotta move. 
for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into men. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. Is there much damage, Professor Fiction? Hmm. Lester, could you join us in the hangar? Looks like we need a mechanic. It was a ghost sub! Look at Jeffrey! He looks like he's seen a ghost sub. Ergo, he saw a ghost sub. Makes sense. It looked like it was made of wood, but it glowed. Like a glow fish. Hmm. Was it a glow fish? No, but it did have this enormous mouth that seemed to suck in water. Oh, wait! That reminds me of something I read but... I did not expect that sentence to end there. Griffin! <laughs> uh, that's what happens when we run inside. Sorry, Dad. Uh, need a mechanic, then? Damaged rudder. We took a big hit. We were attacked by a phantom submarine. It travels in the ocean, looking for innocent sailors to drag to their doom. Probably. Is that so? Were you scared? <laughs> I'm not scared of anything. But yes, I was very scared. I wish I had adventures like you. No time. There's work to do. I knew your story reminded me of something. The sailor Alessandro de Salazar. He was an inventor? A genius. Uh, persecuted for his wild theories. Like me. You're persecuted by the conservative scientific establishment? Mostly by Fontaine. Hmm. His last invention was back in 1801. The Consail, a one-of-a-kind submarine made of wood and steel. That's it! The Phantom Sub! You're sure? Definitely. This is the sub we saw. And the Consail vanished on its maiden voyage. Well, it's back. Scientifically speaking, that shouldn't be possible. Science doesn't apply, Professor. Not to ghosts. But why do I have an assignment? Because learning is important. That's what TV is for. Remember the navigation theory you've been studying? Um, yeah, sure. Then these should be familiar. The navigation equipment that our ancestors used. But we have GPS now. We don't need whatever this is. It's a sextant. Where's the screen? Learning to navigate the way old sailors did will help you understand the principles of navigation. And modern equipment can fail. You just witness how something as advanced as the Aranex can become disabled. We'll hide something in the ocean, and you'll have to use these old techniques to find it. It shouldn't be difficult, now that you've studied all that theory, right? <sighs> Fine, I suppose I can use this to, um, tie things together? It measures depth. I knew that. And remember, we could give you a random assignment at any time. What? Why? Well, partly to make sure you're always prepared. And partly because we find it funny. Well, if people who live before the internet could do this, I should totally own it. <laughs> That's the spirit. You know what they say. If you don't learn from the past, it'll come back to haunt you. <laughs> Hmm. What? Huh. <sighs> uh. Do mechanics not 
not sleep? Sorry, there's something you should see on the other side of the island. What is it? It's, um, I, I don't want to say in case it's not there. So you're saying it's a mystery? I guess. Yeah. So, should we take the solar skis? Just take them? Like, ride them? I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I should. You want an adventure, right? You always have this much fun? <laughs> Sometimes more. I should tell you, I'm not a great swimmer. Then I hope you're good at holding on. <laughs> Follow me! morning from the shore. Did you tell your dad? No, he doesn't like me going on unauthorized walks. Y you think we should move closer? Uh, sure. Do you? Okay. What happened? Is it alive? Can it hear us? It can't hear us! No, no, no! This is bad! Let's go! Ant! Uh, uh. Oh, no! Ah! No! Griffin! Sleepyhead? <sighs> Surprise test time. Why? Sailors of old always had to be ready for action. They didn't get warnings about storms or dangerous reefs or kraken attacks. But the sun isn't even up yet. Which makes it easier to navigate by the stars. And Mother is out there underwater in the white night. Here are the coordinates. You have one hour to find her using old navigation techniques. In that boat? Is it an antique? It's the same boat I used when I did this test. So it is an antique. Can't you handle old equipment? <laughs> of course I can. I'm already an expert in... this thingy. And you can't use your communicator unless it's an emergency. Got it? Don't need it. I have a rope and a thingy and my own formidable wits. <laughs> Dad! Come in, Dad! Ant? Why are you out so early? The con sale! It has Griffin! Hold on, calm down, Ant. Where are you? It's diving! What? I'm coming, Griffin! <laughs> Ant! Griffin! Oh no! What's happening? Uh, we're diving! Dad! We're two miles north of... Dad! Ant, can you hear me? Please respond! What happened to you? I was sucked into a pipe. I hit a filter. I thought I was done for. And then I looked up and I found a hatch. No! It'd flood if we open it now! So, we're trapped? I think so. Who's driving? I don't know. Ant, do you read me? If this is a prank, tell me now. I promise to laugh. Come on, Ant. Just answer me. The con sale? Excuse me, Will. Have you seen the boys? Griffin's not in his room, and two solar skis are missing. Ant said the Phantom Sub took Griffin... And then we lost contact. What? Probably just a prank. You know how boys are. They're probably just having a little adventure. Uh, I always told Griffin that adventures were for fools. Come on. Let's go find our boys. It sounds strange, but it could be nothing. We're gonna head out in the rover just to be sure. I'll stay put. I should be here when Fontaine finds me. Okay. 
Are you coming? I usually just fix the subs. Never really traveled in one before. That's okay if you don't want to come. I'm sure I'll find the boys. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Can anyone read me? Dad, Dad? <sighs> Nothing, no signal at all. This hull is thick varnished wood. It could be blocking the signal? There has to be someone driving. According to its tracker, one of the solar skis is right above us. The other one's just over there. But where are the boys? Griffin doesn't... Oh, I never really let him swim. Let's be calm and not jump to any conclusions. They're together, they'll be fine. Let's keep looking. Okay, if that star is there, and... Oh, I get it. I totally get it. I have conquered you, Sextant. And that means Mom should be right over... <gasps> no! Oh, no. Are all your adventures like this? They're not usually this scary. At least it can't get any scarier. For future reference on adventures, we never ever say things like that. Uh. <gasps> it's him, De Salazar. <gasps> Not gonna use it. Not an emergency. Not yet. Huh? Mr. De Salazar? Ah! Ah! <sighs> but if the ghost of De Salazar isn't driving, then who is? This is gonna work. It's not working! No! Keiko, any sign of Fontaine? No, and her deadline has come and gone. What about the boys? Still missing, but we'll find them. Okay, I'll track down Fontaine. <sighs> I thought I could keep him safe, keep him under my wing. We all think like that. Do we? I don't like Griffin going out for a walk by himself. Your boy puts himself face to face with sea monsters. Yes, and I wish he wouldn't. But you prepare him for it. Griffin's out there, and he's not ready for whatever he's facing. Maybe, or maybe he's more ready than you realize. I can steer it! I knew I'd be a good captain! Who says you're the captain? The hat says so. <coughs> the sketches in this book? I think this engine is water powered. Like the one on the Aranax? Like an old version of it. The water level doesn't seem to stay consistent. Maybe that's why it sits still sometimes. It's refilling. And look! <gasps> oh no! Do that! It senses changes in the water pressure. That's how it avoided collisions over the years. What is that? A rowboat? Who still uses rowboats? We're in a 200 year old wooden submarine. Good point. Is that Fontaine? What's she doing all the way out here? We're going too fast. We're gonna shoot right past her. We need to slow down and rise up. Okay, how about this? We're slowing down. What did you do? I don't know. I just pulled this lever. Griffin! Come in. It's perfectly safe. Ant's in charge. <laughs> that doesn't sound perfectly safe. Wow. I know. It's creepy, but kind of cool. So far, just creepy. 
Where is this light coming from? I think it's an algae that traps bioluminescent gas. Or it's magic. Welcome to my ship. Your ship? Before me, the captain was a coat rack. Easiest mutiny ever. Uh, I think we're diving, guys. Ant, do you even know how to control this thing? Sort of. Except I don't really know where we are. Or where we're going. I know our current position. And I know the exact heading to Mom. Ant, can you do everything I tell you to? Everything's worth trying once. Steer us to port. To the west. Stop. Back a little to starboard. Stay on this course. We're going home. Uh, guys, the sub is speeding up again. By itself. Ah! We're dropping fast! But why? Oh, there has to be something in here! Come on, come on, come on! I thought this was a manual, but it's useless! Fontaine, take the wheel! Griffin, we need to go up! Try that lever again! It's not working! The weight of three people! A De Salazar designed the sub for himself, alone! I get it. Weight is crucial. And we ruined it! A wooden sub can't possibly handle these depths! What does that mean? We're gonna implode! Center like that? I just need to find the balance. We're balancing out. Fontaine, can you maintain course? I got this. That's not good. And we need to go up now. We can't. There's too much water. We need to turn off the water. myself too. Beautiful. <sighs> oh, a balance, remember? This is where I was supposed to find mom. I think. Hopefully she's still nearby. Guys, this isn't a manual. I think this is De Salazar's diary. Salazar used glowing algae. I was right. Be careful. Oh, oh, ah! No! Ah, got it. And I found you. Do I still pass? <laughs> you pass. Dad, I went on an adventure and I didn't implode. Without Griffin, we'd still be down there. Uh, not imploding goes in the wind column. Incredible! De Salazar was years ahead of his time. Some of the ideas in here, oh, the adventures he had. Uh, I think I've had enough adventures for today anyway. There are plenty of adventures here with very little chance of imploding. How about we take the solar skis for a ride? Wow, really? Really. <gasps> Aha! Reed. I am as proud of this, my consail, as I am of any of my inventions. I believe this automated submersible could travel the limitless blue oceans long after I'm gone. Perhaps it may one day encounter that lost world I have always sought. Signed, Alessandro Necton. Uh, De Salazar was a Necton? 
So the water-powered engine on the Consail really was an early version of the Aranax. The Mectans have been developing that technology for generations. Yes, quite remarkable. Oh, this sub is revolutionary. We could study it for weeks and only scratch the surface. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh no, the Consail. Ah, oh, impossible. We stopped the Consail's engines. There's no way it could start up again. Oh, this is scientifically impossible. Science doesn't apply, Professor. Not to ghosts. <laughs>